Ciao a tutti e benvenuti dallo stabilimento Uteco. Hello and welcome. I am Pietro and we are at the Uteco Verona plant. Welcome to this presentation. We are here to show you how four leading companies in the packaging field cooperated to find innovative and sustainable solutions. Here with me I have Elisabetta Fanesi, who is the Application Development Manager for Novamont. Then with me here is Anan Hyasat, Uteco Era Sales Manager for Middle East and Africa. Then we will listen to Claudio Martini, Sales Manager of Ticino Plast. And last but not least, Pierangelo Brambilla, Product Editor, Global Laminating Adhesives and Cold Seals, Functional Coatings for Imyalar Sun Chemical. Let us now come to the core of our presentation, that is our topic, sustainability, which is a paramount feature in all our features. And, of course, it is particularly true that sustainability is important in the food packaging sector, where many things are changing. As I say, Packaging in general is changing, and in particular, food packaging is changing. One of the main drivers is, of course, packaging when it is at the end of its life cycle. Having said that, these four companies, which represent top-level companies in their sector, joined their efforts to look for solutions to try and develop new, innovative and sustainable products. These companies are Novamont, Sun Chemical, Ticino Plast and Uteco, who is hosting us. The fruit of this cooperation among these four leading companies is a fully compostable packaging created using raw materials with a high level of recyclability and with an environmental imprint which has been drastically cut down without losing any advantage in terms of technology and communication abilities. Let me give the floor immediately to Elisabetta for Novamont. Thank you. Thank you. Novamont is the international leader in the sector of bioplastics and of biochemical products produced by integrating chemistry, agriculture, and that of the environment. We employ 600 workers in several production plants and two research centers. We use nine compounding lines, totaling about 200,000 tons per year of Mater B. We also have six polymerization lines for a total of 110,000 tons per year of Origo B. Our turnover for 2021 is 340 million euros. Navamont promotes a circular bioeconomic model which places people at the core of our activity and can help regenerate land. This model is based on three interconnected pillars developed over 30 years. One, refurbishing abandoned or no longer competitive structures by using highest level proprietary technologies. Two, developing integrated agricultural supply chains with a low environmental impact. Three, developing products and applications as a solution to environmental and social problems connected with the quality of water and soil. For example, in the field of packaging, we believe that we can use compostable materials instead of the packaging produced with multi-materials that cannot be recycled or for those that are too small to be selected by automatic sorting systems or even for those that are contaminated with food at the end of their life cycle. In this way, the packaging will help not to be discarded as general waste. Thank you, Elisabetta. Anand, can you please tell us how Uteco deals with the problem of pollution in printing and packaging? First of all, welcome, Pietro, and I'd like to welcome all our partners. Let us introduce the Uteco group. Controlled by NV Renaissance Partners, an industrial investment company, we join forces with world-leading companies belonging to the NB network to develop innovative, sustainable 
solutions. The Uteco Group has five plants in Italy and the US, including our excellent technological R&D Convodrome Center, where we constantly study technological solutions for converting and printing suitable to all our business areas. To achieve the growth of the group, we concluded recent strategic acquisitions and others will be finalized soon. In this perspective, we are consolidating our presence with the major food production groups and other important brands in the food and beverage, healthcare, retail and general packaging fields. We constantly carry out printing tests, develop innovations and devise new packaging technologies with a view to environmental protection and consumer safety. At present, Uteco and the whole market are aiming for the development of new technologies, digitalization and sustainability, which, of course, are central issues worldwide. They also represent the major trends on the printing and converting markets and on the market in general. Uteco is participating in projects and actions for the development of sustainable technologies, as in the case of water-based EB inks or machines that couple technology and environmental compatibility, such as the coating and laminating solvent-free Duolam just behind us, and the Rainbow 4.0 Flexo machines using EB Onyx XS and Echo One inks. At Uteco, we believe that the future of our company and of the whole industry necessarily entails developing increasingly sustainable technologies, tailor-made to fit the needs of the sector, of the client and of the final user. This is why we invest more and more in research and innovation. Thanks a lot, Anan. Now with Claudio Martini, we will be talking about Ticinoplast. Please, Claudio. Ticinoplast can boast 50 years of experience in flexible packaging and the extrusion of blown film for the food and beverage, pharmaceutical, personal care, pet food and industrial markets. We are recognized by the market as leaders in technology for our research for new materials and processing techniques for flexible packaging. We produce 15,000 tons a year and expect a significant growth, thanks to more production lines and new international partners. Partnerships we sell in Italy and abroad. Our strengths. Basically, these are focus on innovation, the research and development team working in close contact with clients, servicing and assistance from design to final product, and we are certified BRC, ISO and ISCC+. How do you approach sustainability, Claudio, at Ticino Plast? At Ticinoplast, we decided to adhere to this circular economy concept, which means three things – reuse, reduce, recycle. In the field of food packaging, reuse is not practicable, so we concentrated on reduction and making our film packaging recyclable without changing the characteristics of the film itself. In this perspective, over the last few years, Ticinoplast concentrated on devising solutions to decrease the weight of packaging by making our films thinner and more technically advanced, and making our expanded films lower density while, at the same time, developing with our international partners bi-oriented polyethylene films suitable for printing, for finishing and coating, and to be used for a vacuum packaging, thus creating a barrier to gases, aromas and vapour. As to organic recycling, Ticino Plus develop a range of compostable films for food packaging thanks to the cooperation with Navamont. This is why in June 2020 we launched the Nest Film by Ticino Plus line, a new generation of packaging field and the results of all the company's commitment to circular economy and environmental protection. Thank you, Claudio. Let us move on to San Chemical and Pierangelo, please. Thank you, Pietro. Let me say a few words to introduce my company and our subsidiary, DIC. 
With a yearly turnover of about 8.5 billion, our group is a major organization with a global presence and locally supplied service. In this slide, I'd like to underline our significant investments in research and development that are increasingly earmarked for innovation programs delivering more sustainable solutions, which is, of course, the topic we are discussing today. Further, the recent acquisition of BAS for Color and Effects will allow us to take further steps in many technological and sustainability-oriented areas. Another feature which I would like to highlight is that Sun Chemical is not only a leading company in terms of producing solvent or water-based inks for flexo and gravure printing, but also for offset, electron beam technology, and so on. But we also produce functional coatings with water and grease-resistant varnishes and barrier products against moisture, oxygen, UV rays and mineral oils, primers, heat and cold sealable lacquers, lamination adhesives and barrier adhesives. All these were used to develop the projects thanks to our partners, which we're all presenting now. For years, sustainability has been at the core of our corporate processes and has driven the development, production and distribution of our products and our approach to clients and suppliers. Specifically as to products and services, we should focus on the so-called 5R scheme, which drives our activities and is the basis for our packaging solution portfolio. The aim is to achieve the transition to a circular economy and to support our industry in cutting down CO2 emissions. The 5Rs embody fundamental concepts for sustainability. Reuse, reduce, renew, recycle, redesign. Today we are involved in the most important phase of the packaging redesign, for example, shifting from multi-material to single material packaging or from plastic to paper. We are evaluating the environmental impact of different printing technologies, all features that the market is now taking into consideration. Other important issues should be taken into account in developing sustainable products. The first is an analysis of the life cycle of products so as to validate hypotheses and recorded data on CO2 emissions to confirm the reliability of our solutions on the market. The second issue is packaging costs, which have to be carefully evaluated when developing new products with a view to striving for cost parity. Naturally, compromising food security or allowing food waste are not options when we place new solutions on the market. Lastly, we should keep account of all the strong commitments of policymakers and legislators to guarantee conformity and anticipate changes in packaging options. Thank you so much, Pierangelo. Anan, how did your four companies pool their know-how? By sharing their technologies, our four companies have devised machines that are capable of supplying tailor-made solutions which combine biodegradability, compostability of materials, biopolymers, inks, adhesives, barrier products and substrates, with extrusion, printing, lamination and also coupling techniques. These different solutions are ideal for food packaging, as you were saying, Pietro, since they are technically the same as the currently used ones, but can be recycled or industrially composted once they have been used. Which flexo machines have you used for testing purposes? Itego modified its flexo machines in order to convert these types of material and these main changes were carried out in two areas. First, the drying phase, improving evaporation and saving energy, 
material tensioning, rollers adding specific bearings, and by studying a special spiral covering. The material winding phase was adjusted by means of high sensitivity systems and specific pressors. By using Onyx XS Echo 1 technology, we were able to use also the EB3 technology, which uses electron beam drying inks during the printing process, thus reducing costs and having certified and safe products particularly suited for food packaging. In addition to printing, it can carry out coating and coupling through instant polymerization, thanks to the electron beam technology, as well as cutting and winding, thanks to our special recurrent arm winder. As to long runs, our Diamond HP is more efficient and more flexible because it offers long printing runs, high flexibility speed and high printing quality, as well as low job change intervals. It is both versatile and accurate, thanks to pressure setting systems and the innovative automatic register, which provide an excellent final result. The high reliability of the printing group and the new drying system, together with the high stability of the color unit, characterized by a double linear guide, make it one of the top flexo printing machines on the market in its range. We are in the same room as the Duelam. Which coupling machines have you chosen to carry out tests? Well, of course, we're not just talking about printing. All our coupling machines are characterized by an integrated system for multi-process coating and coupling, which may be solvent-based, solvent-less or water-based. They have a highly flexible design that can be customized by choosing among innovative optional technologies. The Duolam uses two coating groups, one solventless and the other flexo, to apply the bicomponent adhesive, drastically reduces the time needed to use the coupled material, thereby guaranteeing higher productivity through a more sustainable process. The coupled materials can be used after only 24 hours, which also cuts down on storage costs. For this project, we enhanced the constant temperature control system. We worked on a more homogeneous distribution of adhesives to improve optical quality on superficial materials and on material tensioning achieved through high sensitivity systems. Quickly, as to Rainbow 4.0, it is the ideal machine for short to medium runs of solventless coupled products which all food packaging use. Thank you, Annan, for having introduced the upgrades and improvements you are making to the machines. Now, let us have a look at the first video introducing the concept implemented jointly. The cooperation between Novamont, Ticinoplast, Sun Chemical and Uteco led to the development of a new concept of compostable laminated product for food packaging. Each partner contributed with innovations on raw materials, processing technologies, printing machines, coatings, inks and adhesives, thus offering converters and brand owners a wider range of solutions to devise and produce flexible packaging. The structure was carried out by using two Ticinoplast films. The first, B100, has extremely innovative characteristics and was produced by extruding a new grade of Metar B, the bioplastic of Novamont, which has always been active in developing biodegradable and compostable products as solutions to remedy environmental problems and to meet the needs of increasingly sustainability-oriented customers. The film obtained, which is rigid and very transparent, represents a great external layer for a compostable laminated structure and it is an excellent print substrate. To 
print, you take or use the Flexo Machine Diamond HB Model 112, which is ideal for large printing runs with 10 colors. The highly evolved drying group allows for optimal evaporation and helps save up to 35% of energy. The B100 film, which can take lacquers and metallization to give it barrier properties, was treated with the bicomponent Sun Chemical Sun Bar Barx 221-222, which improves the oxygen permeability of the substrate, and was printed with water-based Aqualum Series Sun Chemical inks. These were tested and are suitable for OK compost certification and designed for high-speed printing of lamination substrates. As the welding layer, we used B102 film by Ticinoplast, which has a special Mitre B formula, ideal to guarantee the best performance on packaging lines. Coating with both B100 and B102 is the ideal solution to produce a compostable laminated product for the different applications in the food sector. Matter B based solutions for short life cycle products help not to waste depletable resources and contribute to reducing general waste production as well as recover resources that will be turned into compost when they are processed industrially. In this way, the natural cycle in which nothing is wasted but everything is a resource is completed. Coupling was achieved on the Uteco Rainbow 4.0 machine, a highly automated coating and laminating machine designed for the specific needs of food packaging. Lamination occurred at the speed of 500 meters per minute without using solvents. For coating, the compostable adhesive solvent-free Sunlam SFC100 HAC306 by Sun Chemical was used. It has a low monomer content and a high renewable content and completes the Sun Chemical Integrated offer in the field of laminated products for industrially sustainable packaging. Recyclability and eco-design are changing the packaging sector in line with the needs of consumers who increasingly choose less cumbersome and more sustainable packaging options. The real challenge today is making these solutions easy to be adopted Thanks to our innovations, we can offer a ready-to-go solution in the food packaging field. Welcome back. Elisabetta, you mentioned that trademark Matter B. Can you tell us something more about your materials and how they contributed to the first solution we saw? Thank you. Matter B is the Novamont trademark for its materials. This is a wide range of biodegradable and compostable products produced with renewable resources and developed with the end of the product lifespan in mind. Therefore, we offer industrially compostable products under Regulation EN 13432, which is the reference regulation, but also products that can be composted at home, others biodegradable in soil, and others even in the sea. The majority of our materials were created for bubble film, mono or coex, and can be produced on standard lines, which manufacture polyethylene film. They offer a wide range of mechanical properties and can be welded easily, both thermally and by ultrasounds. The wide range of possible temperatures allows us to produce co-extruded or coupled film with a low difference between the ceiling temperature inside and the outer layer. This is true in general, but more specifically for packaging. We have devised optimized materials for printing and coupling which are more transparent and suitable to be treated on the surface with lacquers or metallization. We thus can allow converters to improve the barrier against gases, which before was limited only to co-extrusion, while now we offer barriers against moisture through metallization because biodegradable materials are permeable to both. These last developed materials were the ones developed with Ticinoplast.
e con Claudio. <laughs> With Claudio. Claudio, you've been mentioned. Claudio, what would you like to add as Ticino Plus to the video? In cooperation with Novamont, as Elisabeth I was saying, Ticino Plus put on the market a new family of compostable films, which are OK Compost certified and studied to produce compostable, even multi-layered packaging. In particular, we used B100 film, studied for printing also in gravure, thanks to its particular rigidity. It is a highly transparent product and can be used for mirror printing. It is suitable for lamination, applied to paper, to produce bags with a window. Basically, it can also replace BOPP, PP, OPA and PET films and all traditional printing media and applications for compostable packaging. It is suitable for coating and metallization. As a welding layer, we used B102 film, developed as the welding layer for a compostable laminated product made of B100 film, thanks to its softness and its mechanical characteristics. What is important is its excellent performance at low welding temperatures. So it has a very low SIT, 65 degrees Celsius. Thanks, Claudio. Pierangelo, how did Sun Chemical contribute to this solution? Well, let's say that the cooperation with uh, my colleagues comes from afar. And it is aimed at using all the products which are part of the Sun Chemical range products to make the best of these innovative compostable materials and supply a solution, a valid solution, which is alternative to the multiple material packaging we see on supermarket shelves. Of course, with a view to sustainability when composting the package. In this perspective, Sun Chemical has uh, invested much in its research and development activities uh, offering a wide range of uh, solutions with a view to sustainability, as I said. In addition to a wide range of other solvent-based and water-based inks, which are certified as being compostable, our product portfolio includes solutions for lamination, water-based solventless adhesives, which is DINCERT co-certified, and an oxygen barrier lacquer and a varnish with release and or thermal resistance properties for superficial coating. Indeed, a compostable cold seal and a compostable adhesive are in the pipeline as further innovations and will be available in the first quarter of 2022. Thank you, Pierangelo. Now the time has come to see the second video, which is on the printing and coupling of recyclable polyethylene packaging. This video is devoted to the production of a mono material in 100% laminated polyethylene material suitable to different applications and which can be more easily recycled with a view to achieving an increasingly circular economy. The leading character of the video is BOPE, the polyethylene bioriented tenter frame film, which offers good mechanical and optical properties and is suited to the mono and multilayer applications. The BOPE Pioneer project was developed thanks to the valuable cooperation between Ticino Plast and Plast Kim T. This structure consists of BOPE PNRB 37P printing substrate an extremely innovative film that is made of a high-density linear polyethylene mix which gives the material the shine and transparency typical of other polymers, as well as the mechanical properties that optimize processes and produce great printing and packaging results. This film is suitable for processes such as metallization and lacquering to improve its barrier-like characteristics. As to the welding substrate, Ticino Plast has carried out the extrusion of blown film conceived to be coupled with BOPE and designed to guarantee customary performances during packaging 
thanks to its very low welding temperature. In this case, Uteco used its Diamond HP Model 112, which is particularly versatile and accurate, as well as the innovative technology of the solventless dual LAM machine, which, for limited runs, offers a 35% greater productivity as compared to traditional machines and a more sustainable process. Dualam is characterized by an innovative lamination system which makes it capable of spreading bicomponent, solventless, high-performance adhesives at a speed of up to 500 meters per minute and with a polymerization time lower by more than 90%. For internal printing, water-based Sun Chemical Aqualam Series inks were selected, designed for the high-speed printing of plastic films for lamination. The coupling of the two films was achieved by using the Dualam lamination technique, which, thanks to the dedicated Dualam DCI-017A and DCO-005 inks, characterized by fast polymerization and high wettability, significantly reduces the non-polymer part of the structure so that it can be more easily recycled and increases the quality of the recycled product at the end of the packaging life cycle. The Dualam lamination technology can be used very flexibly, so that, according to the expected performance of the final structure and the desired characteristics, traditional adhesives can also be used. Welcome back, Claudio. The video was very interesting, but can you explain exactly what we saw in it? As I was saying, we're talking of our 100% polyethylene packaging. It is a tenter frame bio oriented polyethylene film called Pioneer Project, developed thanks to the valuable collaboration between Ticinoplast and Plastchem T. Ticinoplast supplied its great knowledge on PE film production in relation to planning, structure and formulation. It is a film devised to be recycled. It makes PE monomaterial packaging easier to recycle and allows food packaging to be reutilized. It is flat and easily printed, and the product has good mechanical properties, is resilient and easily welded to avoid leaks and reduce food waste. It can boast cost reduction and performance. Performance being equal, the thickness of the packaging can be reduced. We produce three types of it. Pure LLDPE-based film, pure HDPE-based film, and a mixture or a blend of LLDPE and HDPE material, as is the solution presented today. We are developing different versions of these films, printable, weldable, treated on one side, on both sides, anti-fog, for all converting needs. In this case, we are presenting the PNRB37P. We devoted our attention to creating a printable film BOPE with high mechanical performance and highly transparent to fully exploit the printing features of the Uteco machines. At the same time, Ticino Plus has developed an extruded blown film which is extremely low welding and slippery to ensure the best performance over the packaging machine. The use of BOPE films is cost-effective because it has high-level mechanical properties and can replace external PA and PET films, which are traditionally used in packaging. The high technology available for PE-blown films, usable as internal weldable films, makes monomaterial packets lighter. Hence, easy recycling and a reduction of plastic materials. Thank you, Claudio. Per Angelo. In that case, what role did Sun Chemical play? As Claudio said, when our partners mentioned the option of reducing plastic materials and making packaging recyclable, which is part of our 5R scheme, Sun Chemical adhered to the project. We thought of the possibility of producing 
a polyolefin-based packaging with the aim of improving the quality of the recycled material at the end of the life cycle of the packaging itself. Sun Chemical developed a series of products specifically suited to be recycled and reducing packaging such as coatings, uh, barrier adhesives, which can be combined together to optimize performance in terms of creating a barrier of the product and increasing the life cycle of the product. In undertaking this concept, we developed a water-based high thermal resistance inks and the dual lamb technology, which was just illustrated, is a technology which allows for a reduction of the weight of the adhesive coating the packaging and therefore a better recyclability and a better quality of the end recycled project. The dual lamb technologies allows for a shorter cross-linking time and allows us to cut down on CO2 emissions contributing to sustainability. All these technologies can be combined to optimize the final performance, allow the appropriate redesign of the packaging towards greater sustainability. Thank you, Pierangelo. Let us now have a look at the third video. In the pursuit of sustainability in food packaging, many projects aim at reducing the weight of packages. In this perspective, the solution presented develops the single-layer concept by using external printing. To this end, the Electron Beam Flexo Wetflex Ink series were used in combination with the EB Flexo Overprint Varnish H79398 which is suitable to be sterilized. Electron beam wet flex inks are based on a solvent-free technology. Therefore, they are free from volatile organic substances, VOC. Both inks and varnishes are highly cross-linkable, offering both the packaging and prints high resistance. This results in a high potential towards reducing the weight of packaging structures. Sun Chemical developed a range of EB Flexo products complementary to wet flex inks, such as, for example, the W2774 white for lamination, or the white first down with a water base electron beam hybrid technology. Furthermore, the air block coatings and the Paslim adhesives capable of helping improve the oxygen barrier performances of a wide range of substrates, both for mono materials and for single layer structures, complete the Sun Chemical offering for the production of sustainable solutions. For printing, Uteco used its special Onyx XS Echo One machine, which prints on monolayer film and performs both coating and lamination. Onyx XS Echo One, which uses the EB3 technology, was designed to use electron beam dried inks, guarantee a high production efficiency at the speed of 300 meters per minute. It produces low emissions and offers an energy saving of up to 30% compared to traditional solutions. Welcome back, Pierangelo. We will continue with you, so please tell us what we saw in the video. Of course, the third case presented today, in terms of sustainable packaging, concerns an external printing operation with EB Wet Flex inks and completed with a high thermal resistance EB Flexo Overprint varnish. The wet-on-wet -wet technology of WetFlex offers some important features in terms of sustainability. Absence of the solvents and the photo-initiators, exceptional adhesion and flexibility, great potential for a low-weight packaging application such as, for example, monofilm external printing. The combination of WetFlex inks with barrier coatings, as we mentioned, allow the shift from multi-material 
structures to monolayer mono material structures which are easily recycled. Among other features of this technology, we have an externally printed monoweb film and the main feature of this technology is in the fact that we can more easily de-ink the external surface and therefore we can optimize the process of recycling the material obtained, as you can see in the slide. Thank you, Pierangelo. Now, to conclude our presentation and our webinar, we have prepared a Q&A session for all of our guests. Quick questions and answers. Let us start with our lady, Elisabetta. If all the components you have mentioned can be certified as compostable, does this mean that the final laminated product is so automatically? It has a compostable certificate? Unfortunately, not the final laminated material must be certified because the final structure must be certified itself. Thank you. Another question for Claudio. What is the impact of these new materials on the packaging lines used now? We work a lot to make sure that the new materials can be used on the machines used now. This, of course, is possible. We can make a few adjustments maybe on the machines. But what is most important is that the settings of the machines must be changed as compared with traditional products. Thank you. Pierangelo, is replacing multi-material structures really the strongest trend at the moment? It is one of the fundamental features that the market is taking account of in a sustainability perspective and recyclability of the packaging. It is not the only one. Today, we have introduced an equally important aspect, which is compostability. And we can quote another one, which is the shift from plastic-based packaging to paper-based or carton-based packaging. Thank you, Anan. After this experience, what is in the pipeline for Uteco? Well, the idea we have at Uteco is to offer an opportunity for the whole world to have flexible and recyclable packaging. And it should also be eco-friendly. We don't want to only have this in Europe or America, but we want to push for this innovation in emerging markets and help the world to have a more green future. <laughs> Just to sum up for you. Thank you. A second question for everyone. Let's start from Elisabetta. Do these new eco-friendly structures guarantee the same food security as the traditional ones? Yes, absolutely. All these uh, plastic materials are under the same regulations as the others, which are very stringent. Thank you, Elisabetta. Claudio, can sustainability certificates be applied to these products? Yes. As Ticino Plus have UCC Plus certificates in order to show that our films are sustainable. Pierangelo, can the right combination of coatings and adhesives replace EFOH-based structures and the metallized or aluminium ones? Well, let's say that, as we were just mentioning, integrated solutions by Sun Chemical in combination with innovative films on the market, of course, will allow us to push forward towards solutions that can replace barrier structures which are being used now, EVOH, metallized structures and aluminium ones. Of course, there's much to be done yet, and uh, sharing ideas with uh, the supply side and downstream with converters is, of course, a good idea to produce the most effective packaging. Thank you. Anan, how can converters have access to this information? Let's say that the aim of the whole project, and uh, thanks to our partners as well, is to teach 
our clients and in some ways turn them into partners so as to create a more sustainable world. Our machines are not just uh, suited to convert traditional materials, if you want to use that term, but also to convert the materials, the new materials we're talking about. The idea is that we want to deal with the training operations down to printing, down to cooperating with converters. Thank you, friends. The time available in this presentation is over. Unfortunately, before leaving you, I'd like to thank my guests, Elisabetta, Annan, Pierangelo and Claudio, for having been here with us. For all your questions, please contact our experts at the email address utecovr at uteco.com, utecovr at uteco.com. My name is Pietro. Thank you for your attention and see you at the next Uteco presentation. Thank again and goodbye from Verona.